Hello guys, we continue our series this week on Laravel multi-tenancy and topic of the day is the follow-up to yesterday's video. So we've set the user ID for all the records in the database. Now how to filter by them? You can do where user ID in each place that you need to filter or you can use scopes. Let's take a look in this video. If you want full course and you want repository of the code, then the link will be in the description below. So now as we have user ID in our table, let's filter by that. And of course, the most typical way to filter is to filter here with where statement. For example, project where, user ID, auth ID, and then all changes to get here. And that would be one way. So if we go to index here, then we see our project. But if we register as a new user, with fake filler Chrome extension, register, and we go to projects, we see no projects. But then, what if you want to add the same filter for editing the project, for example? Now, if I go project slash to slash edit, I still have access to that project, although it's not mine. So then you would need to add those where ID conditions everywhere. So in the edit, in the route model binding, in the update model binding, in the destroy here. For example, if you use model binding, then you would need to have manually. So if project ID or project user ID is not the same as auth ID, something like that, abort 403 as forbidden. That's one way. But if you don't use route model binding, then for example, you have project ID here, and then you would do project equals project find or fail. That's you would do what you would do without filtering by user. And then with filtering, you would need to add the same where statement, where user ID, and then find or fail, right? But that repeating condition isn't really an elegant solution. General way of repeating conditions like this is to have eloquent scope. So in the project model, we need to add a scope. In the same boot method, by the way, you would do self add global scope. And then you define that global scope as a function. It should have builder as a parameter. From what I remember, it should be eloquent builder, which is added on top automatically by my PHP storm here, this one builder. And then you add whatever query you need, whatever condition builder, where, and then user ID auth id like this and then you don't need where condition here or in fact let's move back to route model binding because it's more elegant solution let's use everything that laravel offers and then let's change that again to project all so we don't need any where conditions in the controller because it is covered by global scope which will be launched on any eloquent query in any controller or artisan command or whatever wherever there's project where or project get or something, it would add a where condition. So now if we refresh our page, we refresh this and we have not found because ID2 is not our record. In the projects, we have empty list. And if we add some project, we will see only our own project. We won't see projects from other users. And even while creating the task in the task form, we add a new task and one of the fields is the project dropdown, we see only our own projects. So in the task controller, in task controller CRUD, in the create, we have project all for that dropdown and that global scope also is applied here. Final thing in this small section of the course in the user multi-tenancy. In the next video, we will see how to deal with repeating conditions on multiple models. So what if you have that where user ID on tasks, on project, on other models? How to do that more elegantly with traits in Laravel?